Hello and welcome. Uh, first, try this problem on your own, and then resume the red video when you're ready to work with me on it. All right, so let's um, get started. I'm hoping you have graph paper out. Maybe you've sketched this thing. If you haven't, get some. Pause the video, sketch it out. Function one is defined by the equation y equals three fourth x plus one. So a function is a it's just a relationship where every input has one output. And in this case, essentially, you can think of the word function just as equation. Um, and this equation right here is a function. It's 3 fourths x plus 1, and function 2 is represented by the graph below. So we have a line on this graph right here. Let's take a look at it. All right, it looks to me like this line, and I'm not sure if this is exact, but I'm going to estimate, has a y-intercept of negative 3. And then let's look at our slope. This point here is really easy to read, and so this is, um, I think, we find another one. That seems to be the only point that's easy to read. So I'll assume that uh, we're at a y-intercept of negative 3. And then our slope, we're going to go up from negative 3 to 2 and then over to 8. Right? That's our slope triangle. And I'm doing this because I want to see what the equation of this line is. So I go up from negative 3 up to 2. That's a rise of 5. And then I go over 8. So our slope is eight divided by, excuse me, 5 divided by 8. So this equation... In the same format, y equals mx plus b, m is slope and b is intercept. m is the slope, 5 eighths x for every x, plus, in this case, plus negative 3 or minus 3. Now this, the other equation, I'm just going to graph it. I don't even know what the question is, but I love to graph stuff. Um, so it's, uh, what do we know? Slope is 3 fourths and the intercept is 1. So the intercept is here at 1, and the slope is 3 fourths. So we're going to go up 3 and over 4. So up 3 from 1 to 4. That's up 3. right? And then over 4 here. That's where 4 is. Right? OK, so that's our slope triangle. So I'm going to go up 3, which is annoying because the increment's here, and then over 2, 4 here. OK, so I'm just going to then take my, well, my line tool, essentially, and sketch this thing out. So they have different slopes, right? 3 fourths uh, is a little bit steeper than 5 eighths, right? 3 fourths is 6 eighths, so it's a little bit steeper, and it makes sense to me that this, this line is a little bit steeper. Okay, let's see what the question is. Which statement about the functions is true? Let's read them. Function 1 has the greater rate of change and the greater y-intercept. Boom, there it is. It says true, right? Uh, the intercept's 1, and the slope is 3 fourths, which is greater than 5 eighths. Um, and all the other ones don't pan out, you can check them out. But there is the answer. All right, hope this helps.